You clicked on this video because you want to improve your sniping skills and you probably already know that snipers are one of the hardest weapons to master in COD Mobile. But if you use the proper settings, sniping can be made a lot easier. So today I'm going to show you 8 settings that's guaranteed to make you a better sniper in the game. Setting number 1 can help you line up your shots more quickly. Now the thing with sniping is that your enemy will be using a high fire rate weapon like an SMG. So being a sniper, you have to scope in and out as fast as possible to win the fight. Now there's a setting in the game that's going to help you line up your shots more effectively. This setting can be found on the audio and graphics tab and it's called the realistic scope. Basically when you have this setting turned on, you'll be able to see through the scope faster than if you have it off. So have a look at what happens when you have it turned off. As you guys can see, we're about 80% done scoping in and we still can't see through the scope. Now let's compare that to having this setting turned on. As you guys can see, it's a day and night difference. You can also see the reticle is a lot bigger when realistic scope is turned on compared to having it off. So if you don't want to be in a disadvantage, then make sure to have the realistic scope setting turned on. Setting number two will give you a better accuracy when sniping. Now, FOV is a very controversial topic in COD Mobile. Some people say you should keep your FOV as high as possible, while some people say it's better to keep it low. But since you're sniping, you shouldn't use a high FOV. Let's have a look at an example to explain why. So here's how the enemy looks at a low FOV. As you guys can see, he's very easy to spot. You have to make very little effort to aim on him. Now, here's the same scenario at a higher FOV. As you can see, the enemy got significantly smaller, making it hard for you to lock your aim. That's why I recommend using 75 as your FOV when you're sniping. So you can have better accuracy especially at longer ranges. Let's move on to setting number 3. Now when you're watching some pro snipers, you'll notice that they always switch to their melee weapon after shooting. They do this because they're using two things in their loadouts, one being the ant perk and also the quick switch perk as one of their attachments. Basically, switching to your knife in this way gives you faster movement compared to the shooting animation. And to make the switching easier, you should go to your settings and turn on the quick weapon switch button. And then you can customize where you want this to be on your HUD. This button will make switching a lot more effective when you're sniping and help you have faster movement with your sniper. Now, if you like to do quick scoping, then you should use setting number 4. Around the start of 2023, COD Mobile added a new setting in the game called Sync ADS FOV. Basically, this setting keeps your camera FOV and ADS FOV the same. Now, I know a lot of you know about this setting, but how does it work with a sniper? Well, for snipers, this setting doesn't work if you're using the regular scope. You have to use an optic attachment for this setting to work on a sniper. Whether you should turn on the setting depends on what kind of a sniper you are. If you're an aggressive sniper and you do a lot of quick scoping, then I would say definitely go ahead and turn on this setting because this setting reduces reduces the amount of zoom you'd normally get when you're scoped in, allowing you to line up your quick shots more accurately when you're quick scoping. At first, it's going to be a little hard to play with this setting turned on, but over time, you'll notice that your aim is improving. Setting number 5 will help you in search and destroy. Now, as we all know, snipers are the most popular weapons in search and destroy, but sniping in search and destroy is not the same as sniping in other game modes. In this game mode, it's very important for you to walk instead of sprinting. Walking reduces the sound of your footsteps and gives you a better aim. That's why you should go to your basic settings and turn off always sprint. This allows you to use your joystick for walking when needed and also make sure the sprint sensitivity is set to 85 so you can sprint with very little effort. So now after changing this setting, you can be a better sniper in search and destroy. Our final setting might save you from a silly mistake. Now a common problem when sniping is shooting at dead bodies. This happens when you're in a 2v1 situation and you accidentally think that a ragdoll is an enemy. On a sniper, you're scoping in and out so fast that you hardly have enough time to differentiate a dead body from an actual enemy. That's why you should go to your audio and graphic settings and turn off the setting called the ragdoll. Doing this will make the dead bodies look less realistic and help you identify your enemies. Here's how the dead bodies look with this setting turned on. And here's how it looks when it's turned off. So if you don't want to get confused, then make sure to turn off the ragdoll setting. And there's a lot more settings that can make you better in COD Mobile. If you want to learn about some even more settings, then make sure to check out my settings video. I went over some of the most important settings on that video, so I highly recommend checking out that video. But yeah, that's all for today and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.